and welcome back again once after our Thursday afternoon. Once again on our Thursday afternoon, we've got a couple of warnings for you. We do want to talk about it. There is some good news. We look at our Red River flood warnings in particular. One was in place for Wapton that has since been removed. It does not like, like look like we are going to hit that minor flood stage. So good news there. We still do have a flood warning in effect. Minor flooding expected Red River near Fargo. That'll really come to effect uh, tomorrow through Tuesday, but it looks like we're going to peak out on Sunday morning at about 21 feet. Also, flood warning is in effect. Minor flooding expected wild rice at Abercrombie. And in fact, we look at our locations right here. You can see cresting at 20 feet and that's going to crest early tomorrow morning. So again, a couple of those warnings still in place, but the Red River Wapton is no longer under a flood warning. Take a look at our first alert weather headlines. Patchy, dense overnight fog. For some areas, not going to be all areas. That's going to be tonight through tomorrow morning. Areas in Minnesota that have not cleared out of the fog, you're going to hang in there with that fog overnight through tomorrow morning. Some areas in the Red River Valley, including Fargo, could see that fog redevelop as well. Windy and a little colder this weekend with flurry potential there on Saturday. However, a sunny start to 2024. What do we have for you outside right now with our temperatures? Well, We've got clear skies, 33 in Fargo, 32 clear, beautiful afternoon in Grand Forks, 32 in Valley City. Bemidji still in the fog at 30 degrees, Devil's Lake 33. Quick look at our temperatures right now around the region. You can see upper 20s, mid 30s. We have sat in these temperatures for so long and that's where we're at right now. We will warm up a little bit more so tomorrow. Quick look at our satellite radar. Nothing going on there. We're in good shape. Again, visibility, basically a draw line Red River areas west. We've got sunshine, clear skies. You go east, you're seeing a lot of potential or a lot of areas, I should say, where that fog is at, well, let's just say near zero. And that includes Detroit Lakes, Fergus Falls, Thief River Falls, Roseau Hallock as well. Great viewer photos, quite a few today. Here is one taken yesterday afternoon east of Valley City. Love this with the sun reflecting off the ice and the snow there. First alert forecast. Again, you can see a little fog redevelopment Red River overnight tonight. We'll continue to see that fog in northern Minnesota, but you look off to the west. It looks like we're in good shape. Devil's Lake, Jamestown, Carrington, even Finley should be clear during the overnight hours. Tomorrow's highs mid 30s to upper 30s out there. 39 Fargo, 38 Wapton. How about 40 in Sisseton tomorrow? December 29th tomorrow, Sisseton at 40 degrees. Grand Forks 35, lots of sunshine to go around. Saturday, Sunday, both days windy. Saturday going to feature a chance of a few snow flurries. 27, it'll feel a lot colder than that. But then on Monday, New Year's Day, 31 degrees with a low of 14. So that is good. It definitely is. And uh, yeah, no, honestly, I'm usually like, are we ever going to see a 40 again? Probably not, but I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I'm taking what Mother Nature has given us, Russ. Oh, absolutely, okay. yeah. Russ, thank you so yeah. much.